Don't ignore a leaky boiler. The problem will not solve itself and the water will most definitely not go away. Please know this guide is for combi boilers only and before you start listening to this video, if you notice a leak, be sure to turn off your stopcock straight away and prevent any more water from entering your system. Currently, 80% of our viewers aren't subscribed to the channel, so if you have seen content from us before, this is iHeat. We are an online boiler installation company. Please do subscribe as it lets us know we're making the right content for the right audience. Your stopcock is commonly found near your kitchen sink or near your water meter, so be sure to find that and familiarize yourself where it is inside the home, just in case you do get a leak if you don't have one already. The first question you have to ask is how old is your boiler and is it worth replacing it just due to the age? No matter how easy the fix will be, no matter where the leak is coming from, is it time to upgrade? If that is true, head to iheat.co.uk forward slash quote to get a fixed price quote on a next day boiler installation. Answer a few questions about your property, take a few photos of your current system, and one of our 350 gas safe registered engineers can get your property the very next day to install your brand new boiler. We have over 7,000 Trustpilot reviews, nationwide coverage, and even offer finance on a variety of boilers. Check out the link below to get a quote today. Anyways, Let's take a look at the most common causes of a leak. Corrosion to the pipe fittings underneath your boiler is the common cause of any boiler leak. This is where water has flown through your system day in, day out, picking up all the debris and sludge inside the system. This metal going through the pipes causes abrasion, which can eventually form a hole in a pipe where the water will just drip out. If you ignore this and leave this, the holes will simply get bigger and the small little leak that isn't bothering you too much will turn into a possible flood. The first step is to get a gas safe registered engineer out to your property to analyze the leak and make sure that's the only fitting that is leaking. And then if they can and it is cost effective, they will replace the fitting for a, a reasonable charge. Bear in mind, if this isn't the first time getting the boiler repaired and the costs are starting to get a bit higher, it may be worth investing in a new boiler to heat your home. If you have a rather old system and this is the first time this has happened, it may be worth investing in a magnetic filter to go on your system. We install this as standard for free with every single install we do. A magnetic filter picks up all this metal debris as it flows around your system using magnets in the filter. As the water passes through containing all the metal, the magnets will zap it up, collect it all, and it'll keep it in the filter. On your annual service, which you need to have to maintain your warranty, the engineer will take out the filter, give it a really good clean, and get rid of all that metal debris and sludge. However, if you ever bleed your radiators when balancing the system, and you notice a lot of black liquid come out, this is the sludge inside the water, it's time to get a magna cleanse or even a power flush in your system to get rid of all this debris, to not only prevent leaks in the future, but it also improves the efficiency of your system. If you've only had your boiler installed recently and it is already leaking, this is a sign of a bad install. This is why it is essential to go for a reputable brand or company when installing your boiler. All of our engineers are gas safe registered and they have to take so many photos and fill out a lot of forms within our app to make sure every job is done to a very high standard. Another cause of a boiler leak could be too much pressure inside the system. As you can imagine, like anyone in life, if there's too much pressure on them, they're gonna explode, they're gonna burst and that will cause your boiler to leak. At our heat, we recommend your boiler pressure stays between one and two bar. Anything above this will just cause pipes to burst and eventually leak, and it also makes the boiler just not operate efficiently. Anything less than one just won't be enough to heat your home or use hot water in your property. If you're watching this video and you've gone over to your boiler to see the pressure is below one and two, check out the video up here to learn how to top up your boiler pressure. However, if your boiler pressure is too high, you need to let out a bit of air using a radiator bleed key. Go over to your radiator, bleed the key, and let a lot of water and air release, and you'll slowly watch that pressure go down. Now that we know too much pressure causes your pipes to burst, when you're topping up the boiler pressure, make sure to keep an eye on it to make sure it doesn't go above two bar. A faulty heat exchanger could be another cause of a possible leak. This, sadly, is the most expensive part of any boiler, no matter what brand you go for. So as you can imagine, replacing a faulty one can be very expensive and can sometimes be nearly as much as just getting a new boiler. Not only do you have to think about labor costs, you've also got sourcing that exact product. Old boilers are like old cars, trying to find a part that fits that very old boiler from a manufacturer that no longer exists because they closed down 10 years ago. It's gonna be very expensive to buy that replacement part and find an engineer who actually knows how to install it. And if the heat exchanger is faulty, what else is gonna be faulty within a matter of months or maybe a year? Make the investment 
and get a new boiler. By all means, get out a gas safe engineer to double check what part of the boiler it is, as it could be other internal parts inside the boiler. For example, if your pump or the seals within your boiler need replacing, this can be less money than a heat exchanger. Again, this is common with old boilers where the seals have been used for years and years, the pump is exhausted, so they can be replaced for a rather low cost. But you do have to consider why are they corroded or ruined in the first place. Things to remember then, if you notice a leak, react. Don't just forget about it, don't ignore it. Turn off your water and contact a gas safe engineer. Seek advice, let them inspect the boiler and your system to see where the fault is. And then with that educated knowledge, go and look at a quote website, go to iheat.co.uk and see how much a new boiler is and do the prices compare. If it's only a couple more, hundred or maybe a thousand pounds more to get that new boiler, that security, that peace of mind, that warmth inside your home, it is definitely worth the investment. And of course, there is always finance options available, so it's a win-win. Any large parts, such as a heat exchanger, I would definitely upgrade, but maybe small parts, such as seals or pipe fittings, I would just pay the repair cost. But if this is the second, third, fourth time paying an engineer to repair your boiler, it's definitely time to upgrade. Check out iheat.co.uk to see what boilers will suit your home. And that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. This has been iHeat.